So this is Lockard at the sailing club at the far west end of the lock. here for the weekend. It's Friday and we leave Monday morning. The weather forecast looks really nice. So this is uh, Sunday at Lockhart and a little bit of easterly winds filled in and we're bombing along. So this is us uh, leaving Crew on Monday evening about 7.30. Uh, it's just about an hour down the coast of Little Anchorage and then tomorrow uh, we'll aim to sail around to Cave uh, Alec. There's a nice little northwesterly and the tide is, it's a high tide now and then so the tide will take us just down to the Anchorage and tomorrow morning uh, we need to leave at about 8 in the morning and then we'll get the full ebb tide down to uh, the start of uh, Lock Sweep. So this is the uh, first morning and last night we sailed just down from Crewhaven to an anchorage just north of Doris Moor and settled in here for the evening. It's about 10 to 8 in the morning and we need to leave at about 8 and take the ebb tide all the way down to the entrance of Loch Sween. The wind is forecast to be west so that should be okay, that should just be on our side so we can sail down quite nicely.
this is us heading uh, north, coming up towards Carsing. We're doing about six knots now. The, the tide is just starting to pick up with us. We'd come round the south end out of Loch Sween, and it was a bit lumpier than I think we thought. There's quite a decent westerly wind, course four, and I think the tide had turned, so it was kicking up quite nicely as we came round. So this is us on uh, Sunday and we've left Groovehaven uh, to sail over to Ardenama to get the uh, evening tide round to Poldoran. It's uh, blue sky, sound. sunshine and 4-3 wind. Through Q and sound. Yeah, through Q and sound. So it's absolutely perfect uh, weather. Just heading over towards one of the islands where some of the others have just anchored up for lunch. We had a little bit of early lunch in, in the marina. So this is uh, Tuesday morning and we've just taken the flood tide up to Tobermory in, well, no wind or very, very little. So we've put the sails up and we are motoring and we're actually doing without much effort because there's just a bit of breeze putting us on. We're doing four and a half knots actually and the engine's only just ticking over. But hopefully just in a bit we will we had to switch the engine off and we were better sail up to Loch Sunart. So this is locked on at about an hour after high water and I think it's going to be a very, very different place about 11 o'clock tonight. At the moment it's full up with uh, water and uh, later on when the tide goes out there's quite a narrow channel which we are sort of all anchored in. It is actually quite deep. It's uh, you know we're in sort of six, six or seven meters here. Uh, we'll lose two and a half overnight, but it is the most delightful spot, and I think it's going to be a bit of a wildlife uh, paradise really. Already there's some geese out with goslings, three families for an evening stroll. And we have seen a seal as well. So this is heading north alongside the Isle of Crera, looking over to the south end of the Sound of Mull. And it's a bit after one o'clock and the wind has just filled in. The tide is uh, going slack and about two, perhaps a touch after two, it will turn, flow north and take 
uh, take us up to Port Ramsey and for the first time in a long while actually got the wind from behind so I put the jib stick out or boat hook and the boat is just nodding along very nicely by itself without having to have a fight we're now looking over to the Isle of Cara and on the news this morning it is actually talking about drought conditions in Scotland which I can believe because it's not rained well we've been up here over two weeks and it's not rained and there's some rain perhaps at the weekend but it's only very slight chance so this is Port Ramsey just after high tide uh, on a spring tide and it looks very very different than we've seen before because what normally is very well, it's still very sheltered but you definitely feel the water is higher than on previous visits and the shoreline is definitely a long long way away Far distance there is Linny Marine, uh, and you can just see masses of boats moored. Well, actually, and um, all their masts above the little island there. There's still quite a good breeze blowing this evening, which is picked up during the day, which seems to be the pattern. Port Ramsey uh, last night. 